Hello class, so now we're going to go on to our connected tissue quiz. So have a piece of paper and a pencil so you can write down your answers just to practice your writing, uh, writing and, and spelling. So our first, number one, our first connective tissue is going to be this. Uh, it might be a little hard to see. So again, connective tissue has no lumen, so what do you see? The connective tissue is this. So what is this connective tissue? Okay, so that was number one. Number two. So let's get a little bit closer with this one. So you should be able to tell what type of connective tissue this is. This isn't a great, great slide, but it's a good slide. What type of connective tissue is this? What's the name of this connective tissue? That was number two. Number three. Ooh, this is so nice. This is a great one. So number three, what is the name of this connective tissue? Here's number four. What is the name of this connective tissue? Two words, right? And for this one, we'll add one other um, thing. So this is number four, but add one other um, identification the pointer is in what, 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 what space? What is this white thing called? So write that down. And what cell is in this white space? What's the name of the cell in this white space? So that was number four. What's the type? What's the name of this connective tissue? What's this white space called? And you see the nuclei of a cell. What's the name of the cell that's in that white space? Here's a really nice picture. So here's the pointer. The pointer is in this connective tissue. What's the name of this connective tissue? Two words. This is number five. Number six. Pointer is in this space. So what is the name of this connective tissue? You know where you are, right? By looking at this. So what is this connective tissue right here? This is number six. This one's a little bit blurry. Sometimes these are blurry just because the specimen is so thick. But can you tell 
just by the pattern here, what kind of connective tissue is this? What kind of connective tissue is this? This is number seven. Remember, you're going to see multiple examples of, of the same connective tissue, so just different staining, different, not every slide looks exactly the same, but they all have a, the same pattern. So this, this is pointing in this connective tissue, so what is the name of this connective tissue, number eight? This is a better one. We've seen this already, but what is the name of this connective tissue? So this is number nine. And the pointer is actually in what cell for number nine? What are these cells called? You see their nuclei out here pushed to the side. What are the name of these cells that are in this connective tissue? So that's um, number nine, has two parts, the name of the connective tissue and the cell that's there. Number nine, so let's go to number 10. What connective tissue is this? And the other thing I, well, I think I'll, no, just, just number 10, just name this connective tissue. Now remember, with connective tissue, you're going to see a lots of different types of tissue types. So in this one, in smack dab in the middle of it, you are seeing what connective tissue. So that's number 11 where the pointer is. What connective tissue is the pointer in? It's surrounded by other types of tissues too, but what are you seeing where that pointer is? That was number 11. Ooh, isn't this one just Gorgeous, nice and clear, oh, beautiful. Number 12, what is this connective tissue? Two parts. What is this connective tissue? And see the nuclei that are flattened here? What are the nuclei? What, what cells do these nuclei belong to? So... First part of number 12, what connective tissue is this? And what are these flattened nuclei? What cells do they belong to? Two parts. The name of the connective tissue. And what are the cells that those nuclei belong, that are out throughout here, what do they belong to? was number 12. Here we see another um, image. Uh, I'll tell you this, you should know this is from the skin, right? So what type of connective tissue is this? And what layer, what region are we in? So what type of connective tissue is it? In what region? In what region of the skin is this? That 
That was number 13. Beautiful, beautiful. What type of connective tissue is this? Where the pointer is? Here. What's the name of this connective tissue, number 14? Here's another slide. Why well, we're seeing this one a lot. Good, we got some good ones here. The name of this connective tissue, this is number 15 again. And the second part of this question, where do you find this connective tissue in your body? That was number 15. The name of this connective tissue and where do you find this connective tissue in your body? So here's, here's, here's this one. So number 16, what is this connective tissue? And tell me the name of the scattered little nuclei. We see the nuclei all throughout here. Most of these nuclei belong to what cell? That cell is making um, the, the protein fibers and the ground substance in this connective tissue. So what, what cell type is living in here that's making these protein fibers and the ground substance in this connective tissue? That was number 16. Here's this one. Seeing it again. This one's not quite as clear. You can see the protein fibers here. So pro these black branching protein fibers. So the name of this connective tissue, number 17, is what again? The na then name these protein fibers, these black protein fibers. What are these black protein fibers? And where would you find this connective tissue? So that was number 17. Name the connective tissue. What are these black protein fibers called? These black branching protein fibers. What kind of protein fibers are these? And where in your body would you find this type of connective tissue? So three parts to number 17. This is pretty clear. So once again, the pointer is in a cell, but what is the name of this connective tissue? So this is number 18. Here's a good one. So this is number 19. Name this connective tissue. You've seen it already, but name it again. And tell me two places where you could find it. So um, write down the two places you can find it. So that was number 19. Let's move down. 
Hmm, I think this is the same one we've already seen, but since it's up here again, um, and this is going to be number 20, tell me the name of this connective tissue again and where you could find it. Name of it, where you can find it. Oh, here we have this one again. Pretty easy to see. Name this connective tissue. And then for this one, since you've seen it before, tell me, is this, um, what, what's the category of this connective tissue? And by that we mean it's based on its ground substance. What are we going to be calling this type of general um, connective tissue? And is it loose or dense? So the name of the connective tissue, what's its big category based on its ground substance, and is it considered a loose or dense? So here's this connective tissue. This is number 22. So write down the name of the connective tissue. And tell me the name of the protein fibers that are in the matrix. What are these blue protein fibers called? And tell me th three places where you could find this type of connective tissue. So write those down. Okay, so the name of the connective tissue, the name of the protein, the type of protein fibers that are in the matrix, and three places where you could find this type of connective tissue. So here's this connective tissue again. Just write it down. And the next question is, what type of protein fibers are these skinny ones, these skinny hair-like protein fibers? Name those protein fibers first, the skinny hair-like protein fibers. What are those called? And next, what are these fat, fatter, thick pink protein fibers called? What are these protein fibers called? Here's a close-up of um, a, a, a connective tissue you've seen. So this is going to be number 24. What type of connective tissue is this? And what are the name of the protein fibers, most of the protein fibers that are in the matrix here? And is this considered a dense or loose connective tissue. That was 24. 
And I think this is our last one. Once again, name this type of connective tissue. And I should say it's down here. Down here. What type of protein fibers are in the matrix here? They stain dark. What are those protein fibers? And there's going to be this dense irregular connective tissue that is surrounding this connective tissue that is going to be bringing it blood. What is this dense irregular connective tissue called that's surrounding this connective tissue? So that's it. So I think we're done. So let's go back to the first one. Not a great picture, but what what is this? This is adipose. Just fat adipose. So that's adipose. That was number one. Number two, not very well stained. It's not really bright, but what is this? A realer connective tissue. Has that pickup sticks pattern, like you just dropped all the protein fibers and they're just laying all over the place. This is a realer connective tissue. That was number two. Number three. Really nice picture. This is reticular connective tissue. Reticular connective tissue. That was number three. Number four. This is hyaline cartilage. Remember, you cannot just say this is hyaline. You will get it wrong. Its name is hyaline cartilage. The matrix it has that glassy appearance. These little white things are look Lacuna, lacunae, plural, this is a lacuna. And inside all these lacunas, what cell lives there? Chondrocytes. Chondro means cartilage. So the chondrocytes are living in their little lacunas. They are secreting this matrix. Remember, the matrix is non living has protein fibers and ground substance. Matrix, protein fibers and ground substance. Non-living. Hyaline cartilage. This guy is elastic cartilage. Still has his lacunas, lacunas, excuse me, and his chondrocytes. But look at that matrix filled with, with um, the dark staining elastic fibers. So this is elastic cartilage. You can also see some adipose tissue down here too, right? So that was number five, elastic cartilage. This is dense irregular connective tissue. Dense irregular connective tissue. You can tell this is skin. So this upper 20% of skin is going to be a real or connective tissue in the papillary region. This is in the reticular region of the dermis. The reticular region of the dermis, the lower 80% of the dermis. And it has dense irregular connective tissue. Down here you have adipose. So once you hit adipose, you are in the hypodermis. So... Remember your layers. You have the papillary region, which is a real or connective tissue, the reticular region of the dermis, which has dense irregular. And then once you hit fat, adipose, you are in the hypodermis or um, the sub-Q region. So 
So this is number seven, kind of blurry. This is Dense Regular. Dense Regular, number seven. You can see the protein fibers are in a parallel pattern. Number eight, a real or connective tissue again. Easy to see that pickup sticks pattern of the protein fibers. So that's number eight. Number nine, this was adipose tissue and the cells, all these cells are called adipocytes. Adipocytes, their nuclei are, are pushed to the periphery of the cell, and this is just a fat storing cell, adipocytes. Number 10, this is a cartilage. You can see the lacuna here, so this is fibrocartilage. The matrix is filled with collagen. This is fibrocartilage. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. This is number 11. This is adipose tissue, adipose connective tissue. It's surrounded by other tissue types. This is actually from the epiglottis, so this is going to be elastic cartilage here. And here. So, but this, the, we were looking for what tissue is this? This is adipose connective tissue. This is beautiful slide, dense regular connective tissue. This is number 12. Dense regular, the collagen fibers are parallel to each other, and these cells with the flattened nuclei that make this collagen, these are fibroblasts. The nuclei are flattened because the collagen is filling up the matrix and squishing down uh, the cells. So this is dense regular, and these are the nuclei of fibroblasts. It's number 12. This is dense irregular. This is skin again. And remember, this is the epidermis. Epidermis is stratified squamous keratinized. This whole thing is the dermis. And so this is dense irregular in the dermis of the skin. That was number 13. Number 14. This is hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage. Where do you find hyaline cartilage? It's the most common cartilage. This is actually from the trachea here. You can see pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium right here facing the lumen. This is hyaline cartilage. You also find hyaline cartilage covering the ends of long bones, uh, the costal cartilage of the ribs, the nose is made of hyaline cartilage, but hyaline cartilage, nice glassy matrix. Remember, cartilage is avascular, very slow to heal. Once again, you see this connective tissue. The collagen is arranged in a nice parallel fashion. Where do you find it? Tendons and ligaments. Tendons and ligaments. Dense, regular connective tissue. That was number 15. Number 16. Again, it's a realer connective tissue. 
and the nuclei of all these cells that are making these protein fibers and ground substance, those are also fibroblasts. Fibroblasts that make up this connective tissue. This is a realer connective tissue. That was number 16. Number 17. This is reticular connective tissue and these black stained protein fibers are reticular protein fibers. Where do you find them? Soft organs. They supply the supporting framework for soft organs. The spleen, liver, most of the cells, almost all the cells that you see back here are from the, the organ that they are supporting. There's also fibroblasts here that are making these reticular fibers, but you cannot see them because there's so many cells uh, of this, the organ that they're supporting. But this is reticular connective tissue with these reticular protein fibers. That was number 17. Oops, not, nope, skip, skipped one. This is 18. Again, this is adipose, adipose tissue, adipose was connective tissue is the answer. This is elastic cartilage. You know it's a cartilage because you see the, the lacunas. So this is lacuna right here with the chondrocyte in it. Where do you find elastic? Cartilage, think of the E's, elastic cartilage, external ear, and the epiglottis, the epiglottis. So ex elastic cartilage, external ear, epiglottis. That's where you're going to find elastic cartilage. That was number 19. Number 20. Where do you see? This is a realer connective tissue again. Where do you find it? Underneath all epithelial tissue. Underneath all up epithelial tissue. Remember, epithelial tissue is avascular. It's getting its blood supply from connective tissue. And this is a realer connective tissue. And it also, what does a realer connective tissue also have? It has phagocytes, so it's part of our immune system, um, taking care of any foreign invaders that may break, get through our epithelial tissue. So this is a realer connective tissue found underneath all epithelial tissue. So that was number 20. This once again is reticular connective tissue. Remember, reticular connective tissue is a connective tissue proper. Connective tissue proper. Its ground substance is serpy gel-like. Connective tissue proper. It has reticular fibers and this is loose connective tissue proper because the protein fibers are loosely arranged. That was number 21. Now number 22 this is fibrocartilage. What type of protein fibers are in the matrix? It's strong. It's the collagen. Strong. Strong protein fibers, collagen, um, are in the matrix. Where do you find fibrocartilage? Intervertebral discs. The pubic synthesis, that cartilage that connects the, the two hip bones together and the menisci of the knee. That extra pad of cartilage that we have in our knee. Strong fibrocartilage. Fibrocartilage. Um, we have, once again, this is a realer connective tissue. The pickup sticks pattern. What type of a protein fiber is this? The skinny one? This hair-like hair one looks like 
the skinny hair-like protein fibers. That's elastic protein fibers. The thick pink ones are collagen protein fibers. There are reticular protein fibers in here, but you cannot see them because you need a special stain. But a real connective tissue has all three protein fibers in equal numbers. Remember, they're made by what kind of cell? Fibroblasts. This is loose connective tissue proper. Yes. And then we have this guy. This is once again dense regular. The collagen protein fibers are arranged in a parallel fashion. This is number 24, dense regular collagen protein fibers. This is obviously dense regular connective tissue proper, dense because the protein fibers are, they almost fill up the whole matrix. So this is dense regular connective tissue, collagen fibers, this is a dense regular connective tissue proper. Yes. Our last one is this guy. This is elastic cartilage. What kind of protein fibers are in the matrix here? These are elastic protein fibers. Do not say reticular protein fibers. Some of you will say that, but these dark protein fibers are elastic protein fibers. This is elastic cartilage. Remember, cartilage is avascular. It's going to get its blood supply from this layer that's outside of it. This is dense irregular connective tissue. And this is called the peri. Peri means around perichondrium, around the cartilage. So we are going to be getting our blood supply to this avascular cartilage through its perichondrium. So that's it for our quiz of connective tissue. Hopefully that went well and you feel pretty confident for your upcoming lab practical. See you in class. Bye.